Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Slip Joint Soy here. Today we're going to be taking a look at another case knife. Before we jump into that, just want to say a big thank you to everyone that supported the channel, everyone that's liked, subscribed and watched my videos and comments. Uh, currently about mid-twenties on 500, so about 527 I think I am roughly. There is going to be a giveaway, just waiting on for some giveaway prizes to arrive and then we'll get that underway. So I'm hoping that'll be at some point uh, this coming week. So stay tuned for that, there will be an entry video. Not sort of sure the stipulations yet, but when that video goes alive, I'll make sure to make it nice and clear for you guys to enter. So let's take a look at the knife. So it, here it is, it is the Case Copperhead, and you can see this is in the Patriotic Kiranite scales. If we take a closer look up at those, you can really see the color change. You can see it sort of flicker and stuff with the iridescence. And obviously you can tell this is the patriotic version because you've got the red, white and blue in there. Really smooth, nice transitions, nothing at all to sort of think of. Can see the pivot thing there, but this is a knife I've had for quite a while. It does get quite a lot of use, so it's been banged around a little bit because I do like to use my knives. But as you can see, perfect transitions, pins are flush, you wouldn't even feel them when you rub across. And then you've got that that excellent case shield stamped in there nice and clean not sticking up flush as you'd expect really for a knife i think i paid about 60 uk pounds for this so that'll probably be about 70 dollars quite a bit but we do have to pay the uk tax on this so we'll take a look at the back springs now you can see it's got brilliant fit and finish on this one it can be a bit of a worry with the case knives especially recently some of them have had quite bad fit and finish I've been very, very lucky and haven't come across any of those yet. All the ones I have are, are, are really good examples. You can see maybe like the tiniest amount here, but I'm being really petty. It's it's like a hair. But apart from that, if you look down there, it's smooth. You can see how flush that is. And as well, if you look down here as well. Perfect termination here as well. You can see they're nice and square. And while we got it this way, you can see the blade center in. So the tiniest amount off to the show side on both blades, but no rubbing. And you won't get any sort of blade rub or push rub. As you can see, there is a brass liner through the middle there. Pretty standard on a case copperhead. We'll take a look at the rear of the knife now. And again, you can see that beautiful kiranite. And it's nice to see how it kind of keeps in with the front. You can see, you know, you've got this big white bit here. And on the back, you've got another big white bit here. Things like that. And the red matches over. So it is nice to see they have sort of followed it from the front to the back. Uh, yeah. This this is definitely my favourite copperhead that I've got so far from Case. And what I mean by copperhead, you can see, is that sort of jackknife pattern. So you'd have two blades coming from one end. And you do have this sort of raised bolster here, a bit a bit like you would see on the canoe. Obviously, the canoe, you'd have one either end. And this sort of like hump here just stops, you know, your pocket catching on the tang or your fingers catching on the tang. So obviously, you just slide straight across rather than some knives. You would have the tang sort of sticking above and you might catch your finger on it. But no worries about that at all. So let's take a look at the blades. You've got the main blade here with a half stop. And it's this excellent looking clip point blade. Plain clip point, no swedging or anything like that. Nice clean nail neck. And you do have that Case XX Tang stamp right there. This has had a fair bit of use and it does have my own grind on there. Nothing wrong with the, with the factory edge. I just used it so much that it just stopping wasn't sort of doing it. And as it is that stainless steel, it does need that little bit of care. So I popped my own grind on there about 19 degrees 20 degrees perfectly good to keep a decent edge for this stainless steel obviously not the best edge retention from the case stainless steel but it's plenty for me to get through my day especially with the two blades on this copperhead and just let you listen to the walk and talk i'd say it's about a six pull but a nice positive half stop and nice positive open there as well. Really comfortable on the hand, even with that secondary blade, because it's it's kept quite shallow in there. You don't feel it when you're holding it. And your finger, you can, you can either go here, or if you're worried about that blade sort of closing, even though it's not going to bite you because of the kick, 
you can always sort of choke up to here, which is what most people do. I do it occasionally too. And you can see then you've got full control over that blade. It's not going to close on you at all because you're jamming your finger in the gap here. So the clip point blade then, we're looking at a total blade length of one, two, bang on three inches. And then a cutting edge, one, two, nearly two and three quarters. I'd say like 2.6, 2.7. So it's a UK legal knife, so excellent for a UK carry. And we'll take a look at the secondary blade, which is this wonderful little pen blade here. This one does have the factory grind on it, and you can see it's nice and even. The tiniest bit heavy at the tip there, but nothing to worry about. And there we have the tang stamp there that lets you know it is USA made, like all case knives, and it is the model number 10249 and the SS there to designate the stainless steel. This blade also has a half stop on it, and it has a nice clean nail nick and no swedging at all. It's got to the point now where most companies are using swedging, so I actually prefer it when you get a knife that doesn't have any on. It's just that sort of, it gives you more that sort of... I don't mean sort of working man's knife, but it's. I think it's. It's quite an elegant looking design. You know, that's the simplicity of just the blade, nothing extra on it. It's just got a simple nail nick and the blade shape. That's it. Half stop, down into closed position, and I'd say it's about a six pull on this one as well. Perfectly decent for a slip joint, and you can you can sort of choke up on this and have no concerns. It's going to close. And then we have the length of the pen blade, which you have one, two and a quarter. And then the cutting edge of just a hair under two inches. So again, both these blades are legal for the UK and I've got no concerns about carrying this knife at all. And then you have the full length of one, two, three, bang on four inches. So a four inch handle with a three inch blade is pretty much in that sweet spot for me. It's seven inch total. So if you open it up, you've got the total length there of the knife. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven inch total, absolutely perfect. Pretty much what I would ask for from any sort of jackknife. It fits in that sort of sweet spot for me. Just to give you another quick look over that Kirinite scales, they are absolutely beautiful. And the, this light doesn't do it justice at all. When you take this out in the sunlight, you can see this bit moving just here. When it's in the sunlight, it's just something else. So there we go, guys. That's my review of the Case Patriotic Copperhead. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for notifications. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace out.